Hey there, welcome to today's episode of Online Store Success. Today I'm talking about traffic. And no, I do not mean the type that where you get pulled up at red lights driving behind the wheel of your car. I'm talking about website traffic. You see, website traffic for online businesses is the lifeblood of of our business. If we don't have traffic to our websites, we're never going to get those leads if you're a service-based business, those inquiries about making an appointment or those sales if you have an e-commerce store. Now, obviously I have had an e-commerce store. Right now I have an on, uh, a service-based business. I will I have a little idea for another e-commerce business in the future. Watch this space. I'm letting it marinate still. However, even with a service-based business, I need traffic. This weekly podcast that I share with you every Wednesday is part of my traffic plan to generate new leads to my coaching business. So this is just one strategy that I use in my business. Now, if you have an e-commerce business, a podcast is a lot of work. It's not the easiest road to drive traffic to your site. Uh, I'm going to touch on what those are in just a minute. So today it's all things traffic, and I'm going to unpack exactly how much you need in order to meet your sales goals each and every day, and what sort of traffic strategies are available to you to drive then those number of website visitors to your store every day. Tune in, let's get started. Hello, I'm your host, Jody Minto, and welcome to my podcast, Online Store Success. My mission is to help other emerging entrepreneurs crack the code for e-commerce success for a life of uncapped income, flexibility, and fun. I'm an award-winning seven-figure e-commerce fashion founder, a certified digital marketer, and business and life coach. I'm also a Prosecco-loving wife, mother of two teens, a Facebook ads nerd, and a crazy animal lover. I've been in business for over 20 years now, and during that time, I've helped hundreds of others start and scale their online e-commerce stores through my coaching programs. I love all things business and know firsthand how rewarding it is to have a career on your own terms, turning a passion into a profitable business and the freedom and flexibility that comes with it. Each week, I'm going to share with you the ups and downs of this crazy e-commerce journey that we call life and help you start that business of your dreams or help scale your existing online store. Let's get started. So. Let me ask you this. Are you struggling to get the sales you need on your online store every day? Are you worried it could be your products? Maybe they're rubbish. No one likes them except you and your mum. Or maybe it's your prices. Maybe your prices are too high. You know, know, there's this cost of living crisis going on in Australia. Like maybe you just price yourself out of the market. Or maybe you think your website's broken and you need to go and pay someone else to, to, you know, thousands of dollars to rebuild it for you. Here's the thing. After six plus years coaching e-commerce business owners, as well as having my own e-commerce business for nine years, 99% of the time when someone comes to me and says there's something wrong with my business and we look at it, it's a traffic problem in that they're not getting the number of eyeballs to their site each and every day in order to expect to even come close to making the sales that they need. So today I'm unpacking exactly, I mean, what traffic is and how much you need in order to meet your sales goal each day and how you can actually drive this traffic in in inverted commas to your site. Let's go. So website traffic. When I talk about traffic, I know it sounds like I'm talking about car road traffic on the highway. I'm not. I'm talking about online store traffic, visitors. How many unique visitors are coming to your website each and every day? Whether they're first-time visitors, are you their cold audience, we call them, or I call them in Facebook ad terms, or are they a warm audience in that they're a repeat visitor, they're coming back for another another look? Because the thing is, for e-commerce stores, the average conversion rate that is how the percentage of people that come to your website each day and then actually buy something sits around, let's say 2% on average across all of the accounts that I see. Really, 
it's probably more like 1%. Some people, you know, you have spikes in your conversion rate when you have a sale on, you know, all of a sudden everyone's coming and everyone's buying because you've got 50% off. Sometimes it's lower because they're coming to your website and the size of or the thing it is that they want to buy is no longer in stock. So for today's podcast episode and and for the ease of numbers, let's say it's 1%, but probably really is more like 1%. Some websites I see is less than that. It's not a great place to be. Some is higher than that. That's awesome. And as I just touched on, not all traffic is the same. We have the cold traffic. That is the people coming for the very first visit. Fairly unlikely they're going to buy. And then the warm folks, the, the, the sort of percentage of those folks that could actually go through and convert and buy from you is going to be higher than if they were coming for the first time. So let's just, let's just state right now that there is a difference in traffic. Not all traffic is the same. However, we need lots of it to our website every single day in order to get those sales that we want. It's not usually that your website's broken. It's not usually that you've priced your products too high and you need to slash everything. It's not that you don't have enough products or enough variations of the colors and of, you know, of all of the widgets and gadgets that you sell. It's not any of those things. It's that you're probably getting 10 website visitors a day. So working off our 1% conversion, like I said, it's probably the most common conversion rate that I see. You would need 100 website visitors a day, which would be a mix of cold and warm, but for today, you know, we were not going to break those down, otherwise it just gets way too granular. But you would need roughly 100 visitors every single day to your website to make one sale. That is if you have shown that historically you're converting your your website's converting at one percent if you're brand new it might be less than that if you're if something really is broken like your website's horrible and your products you know if it's like a something that looks a bit scammy uh you know you might only be converting at half a percent every day so how much traffic you need in order to meet your sales goals actually depends on a few different things here are the, here are the different factors First of all, what historically is your conversion rate? So if you have Shopify, it's really easy. You can go into your reporting, your analytics, and you can look back 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. I'd have a look over the course of 90 days because like I said, some things sometimes that are outside of our control affect our conversion rate. You know, uh, all of a sudden that really popular product you had just sold out and now you're still getting the same level of people coming to your website every day but they can't even buy it because it's no longer in stock that's going to negatively affect your conversion rate versus if you're all of a sudden having a 50 percent sale and you've just blasted all over the interwebs and your email list and they're all coming to your website and they're all likely to buy something because it's half price that's going to push up your conversion rate so like i said for today's exercise we're saying it's one percent the second thing we need to consider is what is your average order value? For those people that come and actually buy from you over the course of however many months, you and again, go back in Shopify and have a look, what's the average order size, the dollar size value? Is it $100? Is it $150? Is it $200? We need to get a picture of what that is. So there are two metrics we need to find out. We need to find out your, your historically, your conversion rate. If you don't have one, let's say it's 1%. Two, we need to look at what that average order value is. And then three, we need to know how many sales do you actually want to make a day? Or is that number of sales or is that dollars? I recommend going for dollars, um, but up to you, right? So let's say you want to make $2,000 a day. Your average order size is $200. So you need to make 10 sales a day, okay? So... Also, <laughs> I actually have a calculator at the bottom of this. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I have a calculator. If, you're, if your brain is sort of boggling around the numbers here, there is a free calculator in the show notes. You can go and download it and you can plug in these numbers. But I'm just kind of explaining to you why it's important and, and how it works. Because like I said, so many people come to me and go, oh my gosh, Jody, my website and business is doomed and I will not... No joke, no lie. Ask them how many website visitors they get each day. And more often than not, they're not. They say, I don't know. They're not even paying attention to that. 
And it's like, but that is the most important thing that we need to be looking at. How many people are coming? Again, it's all about eyeballs and conversion rates. We need X amount of people to come in order to expect to make that amount of money. So coming back to our calculation. Now I talked about, let's say it's $200 a day is your average order value. That's a good place to be too, mind you. You're converting at 1% and you want 20 sales a day. You are going to need 1,000 quality website visitors a day, not weird bots that you've bought, you know, traffic from. And I haven't seen this as much, but back in the day when I first started my uh, fashion online store nine years ago, I'd get hit with these ads. And yes, being very green and being a bit of a newbie, uh, I would. I thought, oh, wow, that's great. I've heard about this traffic thing. And I'd see these ads for people, you know, these companies that are like, we will send 10,000 targeted visitors to your site for $400 or $200 or $300. And I'd say, great, take all my money. And what I'd find is that they all just bounced. That is that they would generally bots and they would click through to my website and I'd see that I'd see oh yeah there's that traffic they talked about but no not one of those person people actually bought because it was it was either bots or it was really low quality traffic so when I say we need a thousand quality visitors each and every day that would be a bit of a mix of cold and warm folks but it would be through targeted marketing efforts through Facebook ads through Instagram uh, through organic channels we don't just want any old random people coming to our website to tick that number that traffic requirement box when they're not actually going to buy from us okay so we need a thousand visitors a day in our hypothetical exercise here in our online store now i can tell you after many years of running my own store running ads hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars worth of ads across multiple uh, businesses for different people thousand website visitors a day good quality ones is actually really difficult it's no easy feat uh it's the same thing as when you you, know, you might hear a thousand website visitors say, oh, that, can't, that can't be that hard, surely. Uh, it's, the same, it's the same conundrum I find when I meet new people that have started a product-based business and they go, oh yeah, I've just ordered like 500 of that red dress and then I ordered 500 in, in green as well. Like how hard could it be to sell them? And I just... I just want to give them a big warm hug because they're in for a really rocky road ahead because it's like, you know, often it doesn't sound like it's that hard, but then in actual fact, it's really, really hard. Um, so how do we do this? How do we send a thousand quality website visitors to our store every day? If we're converting at 1%, our average order value is $200 and we want to make $2,000 a day. Let's talk about the ways. The main ways we have can be split into two categories we have got organic traffic that is free so to speak and then we have paid traffic let's cover what organic traffic is so organic traffic is through organic methods as in search engine optimization or seo that means we have we have done some on-site and off-site optimizations to our store in order to help customers find us when they're searching in the Google. <laughs> they're going in and saying, I want to find a red dress made of cotton, uh, whatever, in a size, blah, blah, blah. If we have done um, some work behind the scenes on our SEO, hopefully our business, our product listing will come fairly high up the top of the search results. Now you will be also competing with people that have paid for the privilege to be at the top of those search results. Um, but SEO is, is one of those organic traffic and the, generally the quality of those people that then click on that and come through to your website is pretty high. They've got a high intent to purchase. They're specifically seeking out the product that you offer. They know what their problem is. They know what the solution is. So they're searching for it, right? However, how do you get people to search more of what you sell? That's pretty tricky. If they don't know what they, that they even need it, they're not gonna be searching for it. So SEO is, is great and it's really important, but it's not something that we can uh, you know, turn the lever up and make it happen faster. It's something that is a bit of a slow burn. Another strategy for sending free, or <laughs> again, air brackets, 
is uh, traffic to our website is through organic social media posts, i.e. not paid, not boosted. They're those posts that we do because we know we have to do them, even though it feels like no one's ever seen it. Um, I am rubbish <laughs> at my organic uh, social media in that I probably post once or twice a week. I occasionally remember to do a little story. It's often just of my dogs or something totally random, but I think, oh, that's right, I've got to show up because I, I'm a bit of a Facebook paid ads um, crazy person. So anyway, that is another method. Again, the people that click through uh, from those organic posts to your website are actually really good quality visitor. They know who you are. They're probably following you on social media. They've seen something they like. They click through. Great quality traffic. Can we accelerate that without putting money behind it? Not really. You can do different things like, I don't know, tagging other businesses and using hashtags. But again, it's a bit of a slow burn. And often we're posting on social media and it feels like no one's even seeing it. Uh, sometimes they're really just not. Depends on whether we're in, in, um, <laughs> in, in good with the algorithm on that particular day. And another organic traffic strategy is content driven marketing like this podcast or like blog posts where you are writing about products or services that you sell that people then might Google and find. So that sort of also ties in with SEO. So there's some of our organic traffic methods. So yes, they t they're quite cumbersome in um, sweat equity, like in, in the time and effort it takes us to actually do them. And they're a bit of a slow burn. Do we still have to do them? Yes, unfortunately, <laughs> or fortunately, depends on whether you love them or not. It's kind of something that's still necessary. It's still a marketing uh, strategy because those the, the quality of traffic that comes from that, while small in volume, is high in quality, right? So it is important, but it's not the fastest way to getting those thousand website visitors a day. So what is paid traffic? Now, paid traffic is is exactly that. We are paying to advertise, to send people or invite people through to our website. And we can do that through social media advertising like Facebook and Instagram ads or meta ads. We can do it through, you know, other social media platforms like TikTok, Pinterest. If there's other ones, I'm sure there is Twitter, LinkedIn, you know, running ads there. Uh, there's things like influencer campaigns, paying an influencer to promote your product uh, in your, in, in your piggybacking off their audience to then ask them to go and have a look at your website and buy, some, buy the things, please. And also Google ads. The reason I love Facebook and Instagram ads, particularly for product-based businesses, particularly for, for like say fashion products or kind of luxury products, those nice to thing haves that are not necessarily an essential is that people aren't often searching for them. People aren't searching for necessarily a leopard print kimono. People don't necessarily know they need a leopard print kimono in their life until it appears on their social media feed and they see it and they fall in love with it and like, oh, I must have this. I cannot continue another week of my life without this thing in my life, right? They don't know they need it until it pops up. It's one of those impulse type purchases. That's why I really love them. Uh, I mean, because they are super effective um, in accelerating that traffic, especially for the types of products and, and service, businesses that I often work with in that they're not necessarily searching for them. Yes, while you know a pretty new dress solves a problem sort of, it's not really a problem so much that people are, are Googling for, right? Um, so they're some paid traffic. I mean, other paid traffic might be, you know, television ads where the call to action is to ask them to come to your website or a magazine ad. Um, they're harder to measure, which is why I don't sort of touch on them. Even PR paid, you know, to do um, a, a activations or events and things like that. They're sort of harder to measure the direct result or return on investment on them. So if you need to accelerate your traffic really quickly, Paid traffic is a really, really great option. And we do it though. We need to make sure that we've set the mechanics of uh, it up. For example, like on Facebook ads, in, in my Facebook ad uh, playlist episodes, if you go back and have a listen, um, you know, again, it depends on the mechanics. Which buttons we press when we create the ad? Do we tell, are we telling Meta we want traffic? Because they'll just send us traffic. But what they'll send us is that low quality traffic, the clickers, right? If we create an ad and we tell them that we want purchases, they will then send 
probably a lower volume of traffic to a website, but of a higher quality, right? So there is some intricacies around that as well, but it is one of the quickest ways to accelerate your sales. And you will find that most uh, established e-commerce online store businesses uh, will tell you that predominantly most of their traffic will be paid traffic because that Organic free traffic is a real slow burn. Yes, we want it. We'd love more of it, but you know, there's only so much control we have over accelerating it. So, it's really, really important to get a clear indication of, uh, you know, what traffic strategies we have available to us. But it's also really good to know. Well, it's really important to know uh, is how much traffic we actually need. So, like I said, there is a a link in the bottom of the show notes here to a conversion and traffic calculator. I know that sounds really boring. I think I gave it a sexier name, actually. I think I changed it. I think it's the ultimate e-commerce calculator (laughs) where you can go in, put in your, plug in your uh, your numbers. You can go in and have a look in your Shopify or your uh, Google Analytics for your online store and figure out what your conversion rate is, what your average order size value is. And then there's columns for you to plug in how many visitors or sales, uh, sorry, how many sales or dollars you need per day. And then it tells you exactly how many website visitors that you need. So then you might go away and go, you know what, I've been running ads actually. And I know that I'm paying, I don't know, a dollar per link click for people to come through to my website. So I can see over here now I need, uh, you know, 800 of those a day. (laughs) I might need to up my advertising budget in order to do that. So I hope you found this episode helpful. I hope you find the calculator helpful. I actually... It also, I kind of bo- broke my brain a little bit when I was created. I actually had to email my accountant and go, did I get this right? Did I get this Excel formula right? Um, it wasn't as straightforward as I thought it was when I first embarked on building it. So I hope you find it really useful. I know my clients in Ecom Ads Academy are all pulling it out and using it a lot. So do, you know, it's totally free for a limited time. Go in and grab it. Have a look. I would love to know. Message me on Instagram if you've listened to this and you've calculated your traffic needs. Tell me how much it is. I would love to know how many visitors you need each and every day. Thank you again. Thanks for joining me. I cannot wait for next week's episode where I'm interviewing a very special guest, a mentor of mine, a friend of mine, the fabulous Kate Toon. So, Be sure to sign up, follow me on wherever uh, podcast listener you are listening to. Give it a little like, give me a review, that would make my day. Um, But be notified as soon as the next episode is live. And good luck with your traffic. Bye for now. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Online Store Success with me, Jody Minto. If you loved it, please share it with your friends on Instagram and tag me at I am Jody Minto so I can say thank you. And if you really want to make my day, please go ahead and leave me a review on Apple Podcasts and give me a follow. If you'd like my help in starting or scaling your online store, be sure to check out my free resources and programs at jodyminto.com. Thanks again and... Same time, same place next week. Bye for now.